Welcome back to the channel, you guys, and welcome to part five in our Building a Kit Guitar series. This is the wrap up, and we're gonna ask ourselves the question today, uh, what are the pros and cons of doing a kit, and was it worth it? So this was the first time I've put a kit guitar together. So it was a totally unique experience. Mostly on the channel, we've done you know higher end parts caster builds with the exception of maybe a few Squire projects along the way. But yeah, building a kit guitar is its own unique experience. So let's talk about what I liked and disliked about it. Now, first of all, I need to give a shout out to the guys at Solo Music Gear. They're the ones who supplied the kit for the channel. So they make Strat kits, Tele kits, RG kits, PRS type kits, uh, semi hollow, hollow body, acoustic, ukulele, like anything you guys might want to build, the guys at Solo Music Gear have it. So this particular kit, I will link in the video description below. There's the bolt-on version, which obviously we have, and they also make the glued-in set version. So all sorts of different tops on it, um, but the spalted ones um, I thought were really cool, so that's what we went with. So throughout this video series, there's been some interesting comments about whether you should build a kit or just buy a lower end guitar. So we'll talk about that a little bit. But yeah, people mentioned like Harley Benton. I think they can make a, a single cut guitar for like 250, 300 bucks, brand new. Um, or used Epiphone might be in the 300 to $350 range. Um, and that gets you maybe some better components. So we're gonna talk about all those kind of things and uh, yeah, what you actually end up with when you build a kit. So let's talk about the pros to building a guitar kit like this. Pro number one is it's a lot of fun. This is a great project. So if you're the type of person who likes to take on new challenges, who likes to figure out how things work, who likes to maybe problem solve or troubleshoot when issues don't go 100% right, then a kit guitar is perfect for you because you're gonna need those skill sets. If you don't really possess those and you just maybe wanted to try something cheap or something like that, when problems crop up, you're gonna become very frustrated. So it's a lot of fun, but you have to go into a kit build with the right mindset. Pro number two to building a kit guitar is they are affordable. They can be had from anywhere around $70 all the way up to $300, depending on how ornate it is, what the woods are and all those uh, options. So you don't have to spend a ton of money uh, to get a great instrument. Pro number three to building a kit guitar is you often end up with something really good quality and with options that you couldn't find on a production guitar. Case in point, our spalted maple top Les Paul. If you wanted a spalted top on a Gibson Les Paul, you'd be talking about custom shop money, which is like $5,000 or whatever. Uh, here, this kit is $200 because it has the fancy top and good woods and the quality is good. Um, but because it comes in pieces and requires finishing and requires me to assemble it, uh, you can get some really unique options without you know, outlaying a ton of cash. Pro number four to building a kit guitar is if you do it right, you end up with a legitimate instrument. This is not a toy. This is a real guitar that sounds great. I think we proved that last week when we did our kit guitar versus the $3,000 Gibson shootout. So if you missed that one, I'll put a card to that one above. But yeah, it was, I was really surprised when I played them back to back. And this thing plays nice, the frets are level, the neck is straight. I think the only thing I would do to it is maybe lower the nut a little bit. The nut's a touch high. Um, other than that, everything plays and feels great. I know a lot of you guys had questions about that. It's not a toy guitar. It's not something where the action is this high off the strings and it sounds terrible. It sounds good, it plays really well. I've played on a ton of instruments, as you guys know who, who have uh, followed the channel for a while. This guitar is a legitimate guitar that plays really well. All right, finally, pro number five to building a kit guitar is it is uniquely yours. And I say this about all my parts casters too, but the same thing goes with kits. You can make it uniquely yours. Nobody else will have a guitar just like this. I have mine signed, which is kind of cool and fun too. So you can do all sorts of unique things again that you can't get from a production range. Um, this thing you know, has your, your blood, sweat, and tears in it, and it's yours. And that's one of the biggest pros to building a kit. All 
All right, let's switch gears and talk about the cons. Con number one is building a kit guitar does require some skill. So if you've never done it, it can be a frustrating experience, as I mentioned before. But you have to start somewhere. You can't just magically acquire the skills, uh, you know, to do parts casters or kit builds. Uh, you do have to just jump in. So maybe starting with something a little bit more affordable or starting modding, you know, maybe some of your cheap guitars so you get used to how pickups work and how electronics work and uh, maybe some basic setup techniques. All those skills will help you with a kit guitar. But if you've never done it, like I said before, it can be super frustrating and you can just be like, why didn't I just buy a used guitar? So bear that in mind. Con number one is you will need some basic skills to put together a kit. Now con number two to building a kit guitar is your results will vary. Now when you go to a music store and pick up a guitar off the shelf, you can check out you know, the body, the neck, the frets, uh, that you can plug it in and check out the pickups. Every aspect of the guitar you can you know, pour over and decide if you wanna spend your hard-earned money on that particular instrument. When you do a kit, uh, yeah, the results are gonna vary. They're not guaranteed. There may be some areas where you mess up and you know maybe you put a ding in it or whatever you mess up the electronics something like that those things will crop up and that's where you need to show some perseverance and be able to figure it out and live with you know maybe your your mistakes so that's a potential con con number three to building a kit guitar is the resale value is practically nil you know unless you really find somebody who wants to take on your personal project um, you're not going to be able to sell it. The same kind of thing with parts casters. You may be able to sell it, but you're not going to get that much more than just the stock instrument. If you put $500 into your Mexican Strat, um, that's worth maybe $400 used. You might be able to get $450 for it or something like that, but you'll never get out the money that you put in. And that's a part of building a unique personal project. Um, it's going to be yours. So when you do a kit, bear that in mind. If you ever want to sell it, uh, you're probably going to have a tough time. And our final con to building a kit guitar, which is not really a con, just basically more information. But if you plan on buying a kit guitar and pouring a bunch more money into pickups and tuning machines and pots and switches and stuff, you may not end up saving money at all versus uh, certainly versus buying a used instrument. You know, if you wanted to buy, pick up a used Epiphone standard, which is, you know, one of my top picks for for guitars in the middle range or maybe a PRS SE, you know, maybe you could get something like that for around 400 bucks, maybe less, maybe a, a touch more, but in that range, right? Uh, you know, some real money. But if you take a kit guitar for 200 bucks or maybe 150 bucks, whatever you want to spend on a kit, and then you buy new pickups, you buy tu new tuning machines, you buy new pots and switches, um, you're not going to be saving a ton of money. So if your idea is to buy a kit and then soup it up with a bunch of parts, just bear that in mind. You may not actually be saving yourself money. So after looking at all the pros and cons, what's my recommendation? Well, I think everybody should build a kit guitar at least once in their life. What a great way to understand what a guitar is, how all the components work together, um, and to build something unique, right? It's a great experience. I think if you're a parent and you have a son or daughter who's into music, build one together. It's a great bonding experience. Um, yeah, and again, you end up with like, it could be a family instrument that everybody can use and not worry about too much because, you know, you didn't put a lot of money into it. So I think there's a lot of pros um, and a lot of them focus around the experience of the, you know, the build. Not necessarily, you know, the perfect product that will come out just, you know, stunning. <laughs> you know, you're just going to have something that was fun to build and that you guys can all enjoy. And finally, thanks to you guys for coming along on the build series. It was one of the most enjoyable ones I've done on the channel. So much fun. Thanks again to Brad. It was great to collaborate with you. Check out his channel. I will link to that above. Thanks to the guys at Solo who provided the kit. Links in the video description below. Other than that, we'll see you guys next week with a new video. Have a great week.